Yeah, the Hydra. That was good times. Poor you Flynn. Need. It's a shame he had to die. Really is. And you come back upstairs. Up to... You know where... Um, where you... You come out of the dungeon and you see... The dead... Body of Sven Svensson. What? And the, 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 the small little girl sitting on... His corpse. Wait. In the, in the house? You come up from the dungeon and see this small little girl sitting on top of Sven Svensson's corpse. Uh -huh. I walk up to the girl. What happened? Where is this? What did he do? I also woke up to She's like, Where is. <laughs> This? Where is... I killed him! Killed... him? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, I got the mind blown away! <laughs> Your mind is blew away. I wanted to be a slave, no more! How we managed to kill him? Uh, can I well, speak, sir? While he was busy exercising, I snuck up and slit his throat. Where's what? Edward? Oh, he's... I don't know. We split and Edward went in another direction. Um, Why did you do this, little one? Have you tried being a slave? It's not I guess fun, no. is it? Oh well. <laughs> but... <laughs> Did you really have to kill him? Have you seen him? He's a madman! Well, yeah. yeah. He was a pretty bad seeker. <laughs> yeah, I guess. A madman indeed, but... How would you like it if you were a child and no freedom? Just commands left and right. It seems that you were protecting you as well, though. Well, I would have die. Uh, I don't think you made a wrong choice here. Um, killed one of our friends. Is she a human? She is. She. You. You know that she is the same race that. Um... Sven Svensson was, and she like had the same kind of transformation. So human, or hmm. wasn't he a human? No, he was something else that like he turned into a half werewolf thing, is thing major. And she's like, <sighs> look. We're here in the lawless lands. And was he really your friends? That's the question. Oh, well, it, not, but... He was pretty random. Yeah, exactly. Pretty random, random guy. Perhaps not. Grand actually interferes kind of and it's like she he pulls he's like a bizarre uh, come upstairs we need to talk and you um. stay there my wolf is going to check on you and echo stay here and keep an eye and you you go upstairs and he's like she outright killed him like I didn't like it in the first place but because I I'm not for slavery but still it's it's a heinous thing to do 
How did that little girl manage to kill such a huge guy like him? Well, you saw how distracted he could get when he was trying to show his show his muscles. Yeah, that's true. I guess that was his weakness, but indeed, Crane, it's okay. How about we um, slavery? Take her with us. Try to at least. And uh, uh, make her go through the court system, the ruling system. Well, uh, where there's no. I don't think we should go in this land, Graham. Well, there is in the town we came from. Uh, should we be that dramatic? Uh, I mean, there's a heinous crime, but she no. killed another person. I mean. This like it would be, it, it would be different if it was a someone that attacked her or if it was a monster. I mean, I'm not saying that all monsters are non like not civilized and primal, but still, she killed someone. Yeah, we we could do that, of course. Well, I. You're right. I. I mean, slavery shouldn't be take, taken lightly, but also murder is another thing. Yes. I guess either we can bring her to trial or we can leave her be. Guess she wouldn't survive. It would be just another accidental death. For me, it's either way. Which I would like to not happen. As all lives are precious. You guys yeah. decide. For me, it's either way. Indeed, Gran, all life is precious, but... Not all people are precious. Well, either way... I'm gonna take her with us. And letters and letters and make sure that she sees a fit punishment. Okay. That's the problem well, listen. I have is she She's just a child and I guess that would be our responsibility. It wouldn't be any of their business. I don't feel like taking responsibility for her and her actions, sadly. Hey, so you, uh, just, you just gotta remember one thing. You don't know the laws and the rules of this these lands. Uh, where you make local. Where you may come from. Yeah, you can take a knowledge local. Where you may come from. Different rules apply. But here. We try to create civilized things. Even if you're a child. A murder is a murder. What's an local check to what do you want to know? Uh, the rules. I think it's 15, isn't it, for rules? Mm, yeah, so you're like, you're. You don't know. But because you read Greyhand's book, you kind of understand, but don't. At the same time. Well. <sighs> yes, I guess so. I'm from another part of this land, so... See, let me let me tell you a, hist a, a story. Before it's... these lands were ruled by... Barbaric men and... And such. They still rule, but not in these parts. Then one day... White Estrid came... With a living Linorn by her side and made this her home. Trying to still keep traditions but be more civilized. In a normal situation, she would outright be killed. If someone would know of this. But they were try but every crime maker should be punished rather than be to be killed. Now, I'm not saying she's she. I'm saying this to 
if she ever goes into civilization. I won't keep I won't keep shut about this. So either she'll be executed on the spot when she gets back into town or we can take her back into town and bring her into custody. It's one or two and I would rather keep her alive. Well, it's all up to Ace. Uh, I am with both of the, of the choices. The choice is difficult. Either though my morals or... It's either death or no death. Or life. It's between death, life and death. How can we make her... We... I guess not in the land of orcs. If I'm going to decide. Because if we do, there's a greater chance she may die. What, hand her over? I especially don't. No offense, Blizzard, but I don't trust orcs. And I have my reason. Well, it's it's all up to you. I'm just saying. Mm. It's either we let her go. She either dies in a, by nature, or dies by the hand of the orcs, half orcs. Or we bring her in, and she gets a just punishment with no life taken. She can turn into a werewolf, right? I think at will. At will. Possibly. I, I don't know much about their kind. I think... If we let them out here... I... We have fought werewolf, Blizzard. And they're pretty strong. Well, yeah. So, if she will stay in nature, she has to live by the rules of nature. I'm just saying. Well, you gotta remember, she was forced into this. Bruh. Agreed. Jesus Christ, I'm trying to make the most neutral eel act. <laughs> I know it's hard, but you're doing good. <sighs> I would say that at least she made her own decision. She killed a man. Kill she did. We take life. And I decide I let her be out there on her own. Because there's no sympathy for murderers. Fine. I'm sorry, but... Sometimes it has to be like that. I'm at least gonna leave her some... Something... To make, to help her. As she go, as she's like, as she, as she like, goes down. Are, wait, are you sure about this, Ace? Yes. Okay. I, well, I follow you. I believe that there's no. What I believe is yes, there are good and evil people, but as I were punished, I guess it's just fair to let them survive by the normal. And I am not required to help them. It's just my okay. Opinion. Well, I have no hand in this, so uh, yeah. Okay, you decide. Yes. I feel no sympathy for her. That's all I say. I walk downstairs. Yeah, when you walk downstairs, see a grand just hands her some. 
a bit of rations. I follow him. And shit, that was hard. <laughs> that was a hard like... decision. And 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 she gives her some gold <laughs> from from a pouch. She's like, well, it's nothing I can do, but this is what I what I am able to do. You're sadly on your own. She's like, <sighs> finally. Free them. Well, thank you for not murdering me, I guess. <laughs> I guess. You're welcome. <laughs> and maybe we'll Mur see each other one day in the future. Perhaps. But I wouldn't bear a sight of you. I would say that. I hope you die out there. <laughs> Same for you. Elf. Well, well that escalated. Uh, I will, as you see, we are not, I'm not a murderer. And, uh, Gran goes up to you and is like, this is what remains of, uh, this is all that Sven, all the gold that Sven Svensson had, as he as he like splits it up and gives, um, Ace two thousand two hundred gold. What? Oh. No, wait, 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 three thousand two hundred gold. What? Oh. Blizzard. Poggers. Three thousand two hundred gold. Oh. <laughs> and he keeps the rest to himself. I... I guess I have to grab this body. And so would you help me with Svens Svensson? Yeah, of course. I hope we never see that bitch again. Yeah. I hope she I, survives. Uh... Maybe she'll become a better person one day. Well, yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right, too. Well, as I can gather, some people change, and some and others don't. Well, well, I shall we carry him outside then? <clears throat> yeah, you carry him yep. outside, and um, and Graham goes over to you, but Arn's like, "Hey, you've been using. I see you haven't. Yes, I see you run out of uh, tra uh, rations. Here, take half of what Sven had." Oh, as thank he, you, Ren. As he gives you f uh, about nineteen um, rations. Uh, thank you, Ren. I really mean it. I really appreciate it. No, our team. Just remember that. Yeah, I will. Was it thirteen? Well, I dig a grave. Dig a grave and you bury Sven Svensson. Yeah. Well, our meeting wasn't long. Accidentally, you got killed by the gold you had owned. Well, let your life pass on to the next world and let your strength be known. I walk away. And that is where we'll conclude side quest.